Hi, my name is Jamie Prickett. I am the co-founder of Xperia Financial Group. And today I'm gonna to share with you about the greatest builder's compensation plan in the IMO insurance marketing organization industry today. So to start off with, when we started Xperia back in January of 2014, we were a Canadian only company. We quick, quickly grew across all the provinces and it wasn't until this year we decided, and by this year, I mean 2021, uh, at the beginning of the year, we got our first licensed agent in the United States of America. That made us the first IMO in Canadian history to expand south of the border, which we were really excited about that because when we launched the company, we always dreamed about you know going across North America. And as we've now grown into, as of the recording of this video, 30 states plus District of Columbia, plan to be in all 50 states in the next three to four months. We also have plans that we wanna take this thing around the globe. But most importantly right now, I wanna talk about you and where you're at in your journey in the insurance business. Now, when we think about the insurance industry, there's really two aspects that people focus on. One is personal production, the producers, chasing the highest comp, chasing the highest uh, rate that you can get paid, per sale, which makes sense from a salesperson perspective. You wanna maximize your dollars. Then we have people in a builder's model or a network marketing type model. In these models, you got a lot of people having great success, but you have hundreds of thousands struggling to move their way up the totem pole. And today I'm gonna to share with you why I think this is happening. So now we're gonna look at, we call ourselves a tribrid. Now a tribrid is what we, we kind of coined the phrase, we looked at the three different models in the industry. We looked at the network marketing or the multi-level marketing organizations where you can have fast distribution, you recruit a lot of people, agents can work part-time around their schedule. We then looked at the captive agencies. And one of the great things about captive agencies is the training, the support. You know, I'm in a lot of Facebook insurance groups and constantly I see people saying XYZ company was great when I started the business because they taught me the ropes. You know, I learned everything about the ins and outs of the industry. So that's phenomenal about the captive or career agencies. Then we look at the IMOs. The true IMOs, uh, there's a lot of companies that will disguise themselves as IMOs, but they might be network marketing, right? But what we're looking at is an IMO, an insurance marketing organization, where agents have ownership of their business, access to multiple carriers, 10, 20, sometimes 100 plus carriers uh, to provide the best solutions. And typically an IMO is where you're gonna get the biggest bang for your buck on compensation. But going back to the two main elements in our industry, the main types of folks that represent our industry, the producers and the builders. Here's where we saw and massive opportunity at Xperia Financial Group when we launched this organization. In the builder's model, traditionally, the compensation is, is quite weak for someone that wants to produce. Therefore, I always say that some folks have to starve their way to the top. Where on the personal producer side, people make a lot of money in the short term, but they find themselves working for 20, 30, 40, 50 years and still not building up enough residual income that they can retire. You know, I, I compare it to a pension plan. A pension plan, now they're kind of back in the, in the stone age, but a pension plan traditionally will pay you somewhere around 60 to 70% of your income when you retire. Well, in the insurance industry, most agents, they end up retiring, if they do end up retiring, making a fraction of what they made while they were working. Therefore, hopefully they've got some side ventures, maybe they got a side hustle, maybe they've got a good investment portfolio working for them, but that's the challenge we see. And what I find with the producer model is that there's something called burnout. A lot of burnout going on in the producer model, especially in today's day and age. You know, uh, we're in the midst of this COVID pandemic as we speak, and a lot of the producers love going and meeting with customers one-on-one, -on -one, meeting with folks, right? That's really, not happening as much today. Now, obviously things are starting to clear up. As of the recording of this video, it's October 22nd, 2021. So you kind of know where the state of affairs is when you're watching this and what I'm sharing. But now what I wanna do is I wanna get into our compensation plan and what makes us so unique and so competitive in the marketplace. Now, first of all, if you look over here, we have all these different levels in the organization, financial associate, senior financial associate, sales manager, executive director, senior executive director, national executive director, and senior national executive director. Here's the compensation. We start agents that are new to the industry, okay? Brand new, just starting out. We start them at 70%. 
most people will stay at that contract level for about one or two months before moving up, doing a bit of production to the next position, which is senior financial associate. That's an 85% contract. From there, you can start building a team. As a matter of fact, you could start building a team right from the start and run up the, the system a lot quicker. But at 100% contract, you now have a team of four licensed agents, not 40, not 400, four licensed agents with a little bit of production. We promote you to the 100%. You also have overrides and override in our industry, for those that aren't aware, it's a spread between your level and the agent's level that you recruit into the business, similar to traditional builder's model. Then from there, we promote people up to 115% once they have four, uh, eight licensed agents and about double the production required to become a sales manager. So we have executive directors being promoted almost on a daily basis. And soon it will be on a daily basis, multiple times every hour as we continue to grow. But this 115% contract doesn't stop there. See, a lot of folks, by the way, I've, I've had people say, you know, well, Jamie, I got 120, or I'm making 125, 130, whatever. But that's it. That's the total compensation. We don't stop at agency compensation. See, we also have a bonus every single month based on the volume that you're running, which is going to pay you an additional 5 to 15%. So now you're not running at 115% contract, you're running at 120, 125%, 130% contract in your agency. And that's all fine and great. But here's the big one. Down here is what we call generational overrides. This, in my opinion, is one of the game changers in the industry. And there are a few companies that run generational overrides. But I'm gonna to explain to you how ours works. First of all, let's say that your, your name is Joe, you're Joe Broker, and you're working with a bunch of agents. And one of those agents looks at you and says, you know what, Joe, I'm just as good as you. I can do what you do. I wanna run my own agency. Well, in the traditional industry, in the IMO world, what's gonna happen? They're gonna run up their contract till they get to your level and then you lose everything, all bets are off. Or some IMOs, they might have a bonus pool and maybe they look at a percentage of the overall revenue of the company, but there's nothing that's really concrete. You don't quite understand what you're getting. With Xperior, what we do is we guarantee you that every time you promote someone out of your organization, so if Joe promotes Sally out of his organization, she's now running a team with a minimum of eight licensed agents. Joe has his agency that he's running at 115, to 130%. You promote Sally, who's now running at 115 to 130% in her organization. We still pay Joe on every single commission cycle, every Wednesday when we run payroll, 14% on everything that Sally's team does. So if Sally's out there running 100,000 a month in premiums each month, annual premiums, Joe's gonna make about $14,000 a month on that agency. But now it might get to the point where Joe promotes Sally. Well, now Sally has a producer and this producer wants to build and this producer's name is Dylan. And then Dylan, he gets a team together. He becomes an executive director. Guess what? He's now running at 115 to 130%. Sally's running at 115 to 130%. You're still as Joe, Joe's still running at 115, 130%. We still pay Sally for promoting Dylan 14% and we pay Joe a second generation at 7%. Now you run the math on that. 130 to the agency max for Dylan, plus 14% override to Sally, plus 7% override to Joe. You do the math. Throughout the generations, we go 14, seven, three, two, one, half, half. Now, where I came from, I was in a builder's model. I was in a network marketing model. I spent my first 10 years in the industry there and it was recruit, replace, recruit, replace. I don't know if any of you guys can relate. You recruit 10, one or two of them gets licensed. They maybe write a sale, maybe don't. I spent 10 years, had 27 licensed agents after 10 years. I never bought into why would I need these generational overrides? Why would I need a first, let alone a second, third, fourth, all the way to seventh? Well, here's what's interesting. We now have builders that have been with us, some for three years, some for five years, that have already capped to the max comp at seven generations because we don't make our qualifications unrealistic. That's important. We want our qualifications to be realistic so people can get promoted. They can move to the next level. Eight licensed agents, 
a production amount of 30,000 a month for two months and you qualify for this executive director position. Now, as you start to promote executive directors, so Joe promotes Sally, then maybe he promotes Billy, and then maybe he promotes, you know, Naheem. And next thing you know, he's got three executive directors, maybe four, maybe five, as he continues to grow, he can become a senior executive director. Why do you wanna do that? Well, the comp doesn't change, but here's what changes. We decided to give equity in Xperia, become an owner of the entity that you're helping to put on the map. See, Xperia wasn't built for shareholders and investors to come in and buy us up. Xperia is built for the kings and queens of the operation, and that is the agents. So when you become an executive director, we issue 2,000 shares in the company. When you become a senior executive director, you get an additional 3,000, and then 4,000 at national, 5,000 at senior national. That's one of the big differences, is that you're building a company within a company, but you also get to own a piece of the mothership. But the key that I wanna share with you right now is that it's realistic. This is realistic. See, this isn't something where you gotta have a team of 800,000 people or 500 people or 200 people to achieve these levels. This is something where you can become an agency owner, you can build an agency with eight licensed agents. Now, we don't want you to stop there. We have a couple gentlemen, they've been with us for five, five and a half years. Uh, both of them just crossed over, one crossed over 600 licensed agents, mostly in Canada. Another one just crossed over 500 licensed agents, mostly in Canada. See, we haven't even scratched the scratch on the surface yet in the United States. We've only been building there for about seven or eight months as of the recording of this video. But right now we're looking for leaders. We're looking for people that wanna become a part of this organization to help us grow it to the next level. Now. I'm gonna talk about new agent bonuses because this is also very important. You know, how can we get people paid before they get a license? So we've also incorporated a new agent bonus where they can earn anywhere from 150 to $500 in bonus money. We also run monthly contests. Um, we've ran Mont Blanc contest. Uh, we give out exterior swag all the time, gift cards, technology tools. You can get Apple Watch, that kind of stuff. TVs, laptops. We did a barbecue contest, a nice Napoleon barbecue. We got all kinds of contests. And as we continue to grow our volume, we're excited about the day that we can start giving out 10,000, 100,000, 250,000 dollar prizes that all comes with volume, right? As of today, we aren't the massive organization out there. Matter of fact, you might be working with a company that's 100 times our, maybe not 100, but you know, you might be working with an organization that's 10 times our size, right? The great thing is we built the company in Canada. In seven and a half years, we've become the fastest growing IMO ever in Canadian soil, ever. Zero to 1,500 licensed agents in seven years. Now you might be looking at this and going, that's crazy. I know an IMO that got to 30,000 in, in 10 years or whatever, but hey, listen, we're in a different market in Canada. We perfected our system. We've become the best of the best in Canada for a builder's model. We're now bringing that to the US. So someone that joins Xperior gets to start ground floor, but with an incredible impeccable track record. Now we look here, um, next slide. I'm gonna go over here. Look at that, hey, ain't that fancy? So let's talk about this. Equity ownership, I already touched on that. You can become an owner in the company. You're vested from day one, day one. See, we don't have a period of vesting where you gotta be with us for two years or five years or until you hit a certain level. In addition, if someone leaves Xperior, the carriers allow IMOs to hold the business for six months. We've recruited a lot of agents from other IMOs already and we're finding this to be a headache. So they have to try and open up other contracts with us. We don't hold anyone for any period of time whatsoever. If someone leaves us, we release the book instantly. We also have technology tools. Right now we're investing to the tune of 20,000 a week into our technology. See, one thing that we know in order for us to grow in this day and age, we have to invest in that. So we've got a ton of things going on on the technology side. Marketing, see our marketing isn't for exterior uh, to market Xperia, our marketing is for Joe, Sally, Dylan to market Joe, Sally, Dylan. And we have tools and people in our head office that are there to help support our agents in their marketing efforts, whatever that might be. If you got a crazy idea that you think is gonna work, you run it through the marketing team, they help you develop whatever's needed to get that thing going. Leads, 
I'm not a big fan of leads. We never actually work leads the entire time that we've been building in Canada, but we found out in the US market, leads are something that people are really serious about and they like leads. We now have leads at 75 cents a pop, right up to 39 bucks for the most expensive one and everything in between. We have uh, fresh leads direct to your uh, inbox, appointment booking abilities, all kinds of leads. Um, I, I, I'm Like I said, we built the company in a warm market. We built the company friend to friend, neighbor to neighbor, networking, talking to other agents. But hey, leads is a good thing. Then we've got transparency. See, when we run our payroll, uh, for example, some of our big leaders, every week they're getting statements showing every single sale that took place every single customer, every policy number, every carrier that they sold for, the amount of premium and their commission amount that they earned on it, depending on where it was in their organization. Some of our agents are now upwards of 200 pages a week in a PDF document, it's also stored on our back office, just to report, just to run their payroll, because we take a look at everything, every single item, line by line, it's all built in the system, and you can see exactly what's going on on one document not going to multiple carriers, trying to figure out what's going on. One document, you can see everything that happened in your commission cycle for that week. We also have a turnkey system. And for that reason, there is a fee. When people join Xperia, I've had people say, well, we don't, have to, we don't pay anything where I'm working. Why do I have to pay where you guys are? Well, we charge $150 for someone to register with Xperia. Then it's $19 up to $79 maximum at the top level per month. So $19 to start up to 79 a month. Well, why are you, why, why do I have to pay that? Shouldn't an IMO provide all that stuff? Well, hey, listen, we're paying 153% over here through the grid. We're also providing the technology that you've never even heard of before in our industry. We've got the marketing, we've got the leads at a discounted rate. We don't make a penny on the leads. One thing that frustrates me is I know a lot of IMOs, they're pumping leads, pumping leads, pumping leads. They make more money selling leads than they do selling insurance. And that's no good for an agent in my opinion. So turnkey, plug into a system, 150 bucks, 19 to 79 a month to run your organization with absolute full transparency. Then timing, ground floor, I touched on that. You've got a ground floor opportunity right now in the United States of America. We're not even in 20 states right now. This is absolutely a game changer for entrepreneurs. Now I hear people say, well, Jamie, I wanna represent a company that's been around for 30, 40, 50 years, because I know there's stability in there. And that's okay, but think about this for a second. Most people in the insurance industry are entrepreneurs. Do entrepreneurs wanna represent a well-established brand that's been around forever, or do they wanna represent a company that they can help put on the map, that they can go build something to change their lives? See, we're looking for entrepreneurs. We're looking for builders. We're not looking for another salesperson. We're not looking for another person that wants to peddle life insurance the rest of their lives. Listen, life insurance is a, is a necessary part of our business, but after 20, 30, 40, 50 years, you'd think someone might get tired of that. And guess what? Here, here you go out for two, three, four years, get good at your craft, start training others, and watch this thing take on a life of its own. And that's what we've already seen happen up here in Canada. Next, retention. Too many people talking about recruiting numbers. Ah, oh, we recruited 5,000 people last month. We recruited 20,000 people last month. Hey, that's awesome. Congratulations. How many stuck? How many went through and got a license? How many are now producing and making money? See, one thing that we're so proud of is we have a 90% retention year over year, 90%. Some of our biggest competitors are 60 to 70% to at the max retention. That means you're losing 30 to 40 licensed agents every year, so all the recruiting efforts go into replacing. See, we believe recruiting is important in a builder's model, but we also believe that retention is equally as important. Then we've got a legacy ownership, and this is a complete game changer. We got a guy in our business that he just fell in love with this concept. Uh, he was a big builder before, had over 200 licensed agents, left that to come join Xperia because he knew that if, God forbid, he dies or decides to leave the country, sell his business, there, first of all, there was no sale of a business. But secondly, if he dies, what happens to all his overrides? What happens to the people that he's developed? See, at Xperia, at the executive director level, we have a guaranteed 10-year buyout on your code where we will continue to pay your family 75% for the next decade. That's with eight licensed agents. We guarantee that. It's contractual. We encourage people to bring it to their lawyer and their accountant because there's gonna be a, a buyout situation on death where your beneficiary is gonna be taken on an asset, your business. Here's, what's el here's what else is crazy. Last, uh, about a year ago, we introduced another legacy plan. We went from silver, which is the 10 year, we now go to gold, platinum, and platinum plus legacy. 
which you can get to the point where your business can be passed on from generation to generation indefinitely. 75% of everything that you've built indefinitely paid to your, uh, to your estate or to your family or to whoever you choose. Absolutely huge. Then we have the agency hierarchy ownership, which is just like the legacy ownership, but you actually have a buyout. So you don't have to die to leave the legacy. You can actually start living your legacy now if you wanna sell your business. The crazy thing is most people will never sell their business because once you develop some independent executive directors running agencies all across the country, who's gonna to wanna to sell that? But that's an option. And the equity, that's back to where we started. Ladies and gentlemen, if you have any questions about what I share with you, I really wanna dive deeper, have a conversation. If you're a builder, get on the phone with the person that, in, uh, that shared this video with you. Make sure that you get your questions answered. This isn't just another thing. This isn't just another deal. See, I know this, that some people, when they get into the insurance business, they're excited to become entrepreneurs. The question you gotta ask yourself is what you're building, do you own it? See, can you imagine if you paid contractors, construction workers, people doing windows, roofs, doors, everything else, laying, laying all the foundation for a home, that you bought the land and you started putting all this stuff together only to find out that you were building a home that you have to rent for the rest of your life? See, what we want you to do is build a home here that you own, that you have absolute 100% complete ownership of. Thanks everyone. All right, if you made it this far in the video, that means you're either interested or infiltrating one of the two, but either way, I got some more stuff I wanna share with you. I just got my laptop here and I got some notes that I'm gonna share with you, but why did we build Xperia? You know, we believe that Xperia is the future of this industry. And I mentioned it to you earlier, we have producers and we have builders. Okay, producers and builders. And the industry producers can't build massive passive wealth. That's what we know, other than the 0.1% the of the elite out there. Most producers cannot build massive passive wealth. However, on the builder side, for most folks, they can't make it to the top. The, the criteria is too hard. You know, um, some companies, they started so many years ago that it's just not the same game today. See, sometimes you gotta play a different game to win, one that you know you have skills in, but maybe it's changing teams. Maybe changing teams is where it's at. You just never know. See, we ran the numbers when we determined what the maximum compensation that we could pay out to the sales force was and still be able to run a company with the support and the structure and the training and everything else, and therefore making the agents the kings and queens of the operation. See, we've had competitors say things crazy like, oh, this company doesn't pay out enough. Well, you don't understand the builder's side. We compensate more than anyone else that I know of in the industry today. And then I've had the same competitors say, oh, they're paying out too much. The company's never gonna last. Well, here we are, seven and a half years later, stronger than we've ever been. Next point I wanna share is the three models. And we touched on that, but I just wanna dive deeper. See, the independent model, the IMO, has high comp, multiple companies to sell for. We have that. The captive is the training and the support. Again, we have that. And then there's the network marketing. You can build faster, equal opportunity for others, and no limits on territory. We also have that. And like I said, we call that the tribrid. And the vision that we have right now is to grow this thing across the world. Now, I hear a lot of IMOs, a lot of different people. I've watched a lot of different YouTube channels and different competitors and things like that. And I have so much respect for them. They've built some incredible organization. They have some successful people working with them as well. But I'll tell you something, when they say grow across the world, I question why has no other IMO ever in history, and I'm talking a real IMO, not, not like uh, where someone else owns your business and they're in different countries. I'm talking a real independent IMO where the agents own their business. Why is it that none of them have expanded to other countries yet, but a lot of them talk about it? See, we didn't just talk about it, we did it. We became the first one in Canada to do it. And when we say that we're gonna grow across 50 states, in less than eight months, we're already across 30 states, plus District of Columbia. And guess what? When we say we're gonna go global with this thing, we're gonna go to Asia, Africa, uh, wherever, you name a place, we're gonna go there. We plan to expand wherever this model will be supported in other countries around the globe. Next, let's talk about the generations for a second, but not just about our generations, where we pay 28% through the organization. 
I want to talk to you about what happens if you don't have generations. See, people will either pass you, which means you lose all your compensation. They're going to leave you to go somewhere else for more competitive compensation. Or last but not least, and probably the worst, is that they're going to stay with you, but there might be some resentment. Like, why does this person get to make a little more than me all the time? Why are they at a higher level? Are they better than me? See, in our company, you want to attract people better than you. God knows I've done it. I've attracted a lot of people way better than me. But see, that's the system that we built. And with generations, we've created the ultimate income opportunity, the ultimate equal opportunity. Now, thinking about your future for a second here, if you don't build, how many years are you going to be selling for? 20, 30, 40, 50 years and still can't earn enough renewals to make an income that you were making while you were selling? Guys, that's a big cause of burnout in our industry. This is why we are such big believers in the building concept. Every agent needs to sell for a period of time, but transition to building before burning out. Here's some interesting stats. 68% of all salespeople describe their lifestyle as challenging. 7% of all salespeople describe their lifestyle as luxurious. Just 7%. 54% of all salespeople describe their lifestyle as stressful. One in two salespeople have been told by friends and family that they work too much. One in three salespeople say that their sales job negatively impacts their personal life. So why do people join Xperior? And I'm going to finish with this. Not to make commissions, although that's a part of it. Not to be in sales, although that's a part of it. Not just to pay the bills. The reason why they came to Xperia is for a chance. And we give people the chance of a lifetime to go conquer their dreams. We've seen so many people do it already. And I'm looking forward to working with you. And maybe one day in an upcoming event that we have, I'll get to meet you in person. Thanks so much.